on my camera has completely given up the ghost now at this point so i'm sorry for the weird lens flares i have finally made it to magnetic island and i'm starting this vlog i cannot lie to you i did not vlog any of the traveling today because my period started i felt like i was gonna faint the whole day i was tired i was sweaty as you can tell the humidity here is ridiculous and i'm not gonna lie i was just in a foul mood and i wanted to kill anyone that spoke to me so i thought vlogging was probably not the best idea i'm here now my hostel room is very cute it's like a little hut this nomads is honestly so cute it's even nicer than the Ellie beach one it's like a little resort tonight is bingo i don't think i'm gonna drink because i am not feeling 100 percent but apparently it's really really fun so i'm very excited for that and yeah it should be a good evening, but first and foremost, I'm going to go and make myself a massive bowl of pasta. Huge. Like, you don't even know how big. So for the first night, I basically just explored the hostel. It is honestly stunning. It's like a resort and it has like private rooms with a view overlooking the sea. And yeah, just 10 out of 10, my favourite hostel. Kitchen was lovely, bar was lovely. And I mean, waking up to this view every morning for three nights was honestly a privilege i didn't really vlog much tonight because i'm not gonna lie i was feeling really hormonal and just kept crying um but the bingo was a big pick me up i unfortunately didn't win anything but we had a laugh had some food and a lot of them did the conga i was a bit tearful so i thought probably not the best idea but it was fun anyway morning everyone it is honestly borderline unbearably hot today it's like 34 degrees and very humid so I was going to do the Forts walk this morning, but I think I'm going to do it this afternoon just before the sun sets, so it's getting a bit cooler. And for now, I'm just going to go and sit and chill by the pool. I just had some breakfast. I'll overlay that here. And yeah, I think it's just time to, to chill out and do some swimming because sweaty upper lip alert is already on full show. <laughs> So I went for a nice swim this morning and we're now gonna go and hire a car or hopefully hire a car if there are any left Just need to quickly brush my hair and put some shorts on and open the lens. This camera is She's not making it past this trip. She's really struggling now um, And yeah, I'm really excited. We're gonna go drive around the island see what there is to see should be super fun Unfortunately, the hostel didn't have any cars left for the day So we decided to walk into town, which was a very long hot walk, but 100% worth it and we hired um, a, from a place called Jeeps on Maggie, I think it was called. Yeah, Jeeps on Maggie. We had the really, really cool Captain America theme car and me and Izzy were responsible for driving us around the island. This was one of the funnest things that I did. I just felt like I was in a movie. I obviously can't play the songs that we were playing, but it just was so nice. We took it at our own pace, went to Horseshoe Bay. I mean, look how cute the car is, seriously. Izzy was clearly very excited. And we just managed to explore a lot of the island this day because we had the car. We went and got some fish and chips as well, which was lovely. Um, not as good as British fish and chips, but they were still very nice. And I actually met an elderly couple who we sat and chatted to for about an hour. Um, and then we got back in the car and this time it was me and my double chin <laughs> that were responsible for driving. And we headed to the Forts Walk. This was so hot and sweaty, honestly. That's why there's barely any clips of me for the rest of the day because I was just dripping with sweat. But we saw a koala so up close. I think this was probably the most up close that I saw a koala on the whole trip. And the views at the top are like a 360 view of the island from an old military fort. And it was 100% worth all the sweat and the tears. I only wish that we'd had more time on Magnetic Island, to be honest, and that I hadn't been so tired at this point and hormonal and just generally <laughs> drained of energy because of my period because it was just the most beautiful place. Um, Izzy did most of the driving, I'm not gonna lie, because I had quite bad cramps but we had such a lovely day i would 100 percent recommend if you're going to magnetic island you absolutely have to hire a car if you split it between four or five people it's quite affordable and it was the highlight of my time there hi guys so i'm a little bit sunburned as you can probably tell i've just washed my hair as well and yeah the pool is sadly closed for maintenance so i was planning on having a little bit of a sunbathe before i washed my hair but i cannot so i have got a lovely burn stripe all over my nose um it was bound to happen at some point but i'm gonna go and make myself some dinner i've got a big fruit bowl that i bought from the supermarket and some ramen and then just have a chilled evening enjoying the views we were gonna go and see the sunset but because i'm so burnt and i feel like i'm quite burnt on my head i feel like that's not the best idea so i think it's just gonna be a chilled one
everyone. I forgot to film at all today because I've just been in the sun trying to catch my last tanning day of the trip. Um, but we've come to see the Rock Wallabies at Arcadia. It's a beautiful sunset. Um, and yeah, we thought we'd come now because apparently that's when they all come out. So I'm very excited to hopefully see one. Fingers crossed. everyone so we are back from the wallabies it's now super dark um so i've got nowhere to really vlog i'm just gonna go and have a shower and head to bed before our last morning on magnetic tomorrow i've loved it it's been so amazing but i'm excited for Kent as well morning everyone so we are about to leave magnetic i'm just gonna go and have some breakfast then we're gonna have a long day traveling getting the ferry getting the bus quite a long day of traveling so i'll take you along with me and i've got a very busy week i'm actually probably not going to be able to see much of Cairns, the city because i have a full day tour literally every single day of the four days that i'm there but i feel like i'm seeing the best of Cairns like surroundings and its nature which is the most important part to me so yeah um let's head to gilligan's i've heard it's a bit of a party hostel and i'm not sure if i'm in a party mood but we're gonna make the best of it <laughs> after my breakfast which was delicious but very questionably laid out if you ask me, the heavens decided to absolutely open. So we took shelter for a while before we got a taxi to the ferry port. I really love this sign. I just thought it was so cool. It was like from the Rotary Club of the island. Then we got on the ferry. This takes about 20 minutes. It's not very long at all. Before we boarded our Greyhound to Cairns, all of my bosses have been really kindly gifted by Greyhound Australia and they were all amazing. I honestly can't fault a single one of them. It was comfy, easy, free Wi-Fi. Love, love, love. Then we got to Gilligan's and went down to the bar. Yes, this is their bar, crazy. Morning everybody, it's currently 7 a.m. and today I'm snorkeling the Great Barrier Reef with Silver Swift Cruises. I'm very excited. I know I've said that for literally everything that I've done in these vlogs, but I have been excited for everything. So I'm gonna take you along with me. I'm gonna go and rent an underwater camera so I can hopefully get some better shots than I did on the Whit Sundays. So yeah, it's gonna be amazing. So I headed to the harbour and I went to Calypso underwater camera store. This cost a quite a bit to rent, but I'm really, really glad that I did because I am really grateful that I have so many pictures, but I think you can hire one on the boat as well. Um, and then I headed down the pier terminal thing, got on the boat. I cannot fault Silver Swift. Honestly, the guides were so informative. The food was amazing. Got a muffin and a cup of tea as soon as we got on. We got lunch, we got afternoon snacks. It was just a great day all round. I was with Becca, who was also doing my adventure project, and our guide was incredibly informative and was showing us all about where we were going. This was my lunch, the most chaotic lunch plate you've ever seen in your life. And now we dive into, I <laughs> get it, dive, except I wasn't diving, I was just snorkeling, into clips from the reef. Hello, I'm here with Becca. Oh, hi. And where are we right now? <laughs> we are like, Flynn Reef or was the name? I forgot. Yeah, Flynn Reef. Yeah. Literally in the middle of the ocean. This is so cool. <laughs> There's fish like all beneath us, but it's quite hard to swim with these flints. <laughs> yeah, like look the fish like, look. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to let the clips from the reef mainly speak for themselves because I took about an hour's worth of footage. I haven't obviously kept all of that in, but I unfortunately couldn't scuba dive because my nose and sinuses had just been playing up for pretty much the whole trip and I really didn't want to risk making them worse, especially because I was flying to Melbourne at the end of that week. But anyway, enjoy the clips that I got from snorkeling. I would definitely recommend getting a GoPro, but you will probably have to colour correct. This took a lot of colour correcting to get it back to its normal colours. find Dory and I want to find Dory and I oh sorry I would also like to see a shark so keep your fingers crossed for me Dive 
Gracie's. This has been my favourite, honestly. I've seen like really, really cool like snake sort of fish. Thought I saw a shark, but I didn't. But this has literally been so fun. And I feel like I've got more confident diving down, but I can only go like halfway. But it's still really, really cool. Hello everyone. So we at, went out to Salt House for a little bit tonight. Just bought a couple of chilled drinks. It was super nice. My hair is so ratty from all the salt in it tomorrow i am up early again to go back to the reef terminal for green island my ears are very blocked still so i'm really hoping that that sorts itself out anywho i am gonna get into bed read my book and then go to sleep but yeah see you in the morning morning everyone got a lot of come like a celebrity that's coming over i am back on the way to the reef terminal for another tour today i am doing green island with great adventure cruises at the same place as yesterday so i'm gonna head there now see if i can find something to eat and yeah let's get this started my lens is fogging up literally just from standing in this humidity so i grabbed some breakfast at a little cafe at the terminal before I went to board the boat, I was alone today and this was kind of a different style because this was more just a drop you off and then you can explore the island for yourself. It's kind of like a resort, it has a hotel, has a swimming pool, has beaches and restaurants. So it was really nice to be able to have some free time to just chill out. The pool especially was gorgeous and really shaded as well. But I mean, look at this beach, insane the whole ring of the island the whole ring like the outside bit of the island was just loads of hidden beaches hello everyone very sweaty but i've made it to green island nothing is really open yet but i've got the beautiful beautiful beach behind me which i'm probably going to spend the afternoon at either that or the pool but first i have my glass bottom boat tour which i am buzzing for because i've heard it is one of the highlights of cairns well green island so the glass bottom boat was amazing. Honestly, the visibility was insane. I haven't included too many clips just because we did see a lot of the things that I showed you in the clips from the reef, but the marine life around, you know, Cairns and the Great Barrier Reef is just insane. Some of these fishes I'd never seen before in my life. Don't know if I'll ever see again. I love the flat fishes especially. And our guide was super informative, telling us all about the history of the island and the marine life surrounding it. And I also got to see a turtle, which I was so happy about because I hadn't seen a turtle yet. So I felt like my Australian bucket list was finally complete before I headed off on a walk around the rainforest. Everyone, uh, even more sweaty than when I last saw you, but I've kind of given up trying now. Got myself Coke Zero. And I'm gonna take myself on the rainforest walk because I initially was only supposed to be here till 2.30, but I'm actually now here till 4.30 because the 2.30 boat isn't running today. But the glass bottom boat was so cool. They said it was the best visibility they've had here in like months and it was the same yesterday. So I've honestly got so lucky with that. I'm not gonna lie to you though, I am kind of shattered. So I was gonna go snorkeling, but I feel like I got my fix of snorkeling yesterday. So I think I'm gonna do the rainforest walk, grab some lunch and then Spend the afternoon on a sun lounger on the beach, reading my book. I'm reading Lessons in Chemistry and I've only read a page, so I can't really comment, but maybe I'll comment later. everyone i just had a shower and i'm going to board the ferry now today's been super nice it's been really cool to see the rainforest here and to see all the beautiful beaches and the fish and the coral but it's also equally been really nice to have a bit of a chill day between two quite intense days of the same thing like coral one side and beaches and rainforest the other so i'm really happy that i feel a little bit rested i did actually try and sunbathe but i genuinely for the first time on this trip like could not sit there for more than 30 minutes i was dripping um so i think tanning time is over now because this this close to the equator my poor british skin cannot hack it anyway i am gonna get the ferry back and i think we're going out tonight no one's really messaged but hopefully something fun will happen but first i need to have a shower and i think i have burnt my eyelids which is a new place to burn uh but you know what I feel like at least now I've burned every possible place that I didn't think I could by accident. <laughs> Good morning everyone, it is Wednesday and today I'm doing the best of both worlds 
overnight on Colbrian's tour, which is including rainforests and canoes and kayaks and waterfalls. There's quite a few of us doing it, so I am really looking forward to it. Um, we have a nice early 8 a.m. start, but they are picking us up from the hostel, which is super nice. But yeah, I have been bitten to death by something. I woke up in the middle of the night and she's scratching. So finally, the mosquitoes have got the better of me and I've run out of bug spray. So here's hoping that someone has got some. Otherwise, I think this is gonna be a very itchy trip. <laughs> We headed off quite early for this tour, but the guy on the bus, I've forgotten his name, I think it was Carl, he was so crazy in the best way. All of the Uncle Brian's guides are supposed to be just super high energy, a little bit nuts, and before we knew it, we were into the first activity. It was so fast paced, this tour, but I really, really enjoyed it. We are at the Belinda Boulders. It is so beautiful. People are jumping off the rock back there, but that could not be me. I do need to put some sun cream on though. After the Babinda boulders, we got on the bus. We did spend a lot of time driving, but every single drive, Carl was pointing at, I wanna say it is Carl. I feel really bad if it's not Carl. I'm sorry, it's been like six weeks, but he was, well, at this point, he just randomly got a piece of sugar cane and made us all try it. But when he wasn't doing stuff like that, he was giving us really informative talks about the area and the nature and the wildlife um yeah i'm not gonna lie there was not a dull moment on this trip <laughs> but we next went to josephine falls which can be quite dangerous it's absolutely beautiful but people have died here because of like sudden surges in water so they were really really made us feel like we were in safe hands lots of safety checks to make sure that it was okay for us to go in and we got to do the famous rock slide which was really really terrifying but worth it the only bit that's awful is the walk up to it but here is my perspective of going down on my phone and oh my gosh the amount of water i got up my nose it was insane um but it was really really fun um here's me going down i can't really see me very well but it was definitely one of my favorite experiences on the trip and yeah we did that a few more times before we went back up the stairs to the bus Hello everyone, so we are at Josephine Falls which is very very dangerous and we just went down the rock slide, honestly feared for my life more than the skydive, I'm not going to lie, but it is very beautiful. <laughs> then we got back and we played some more games on the bus, Caleb, I think it was Caleb, I'm so sorry if that's still wrong but I think his name was Caleb, he was great, would definitely recommend him. Then we had some lunch, the food was amazing, they did meat or veggie option but they actually did meat a battered fish because I was pescatarian which I thought was the sweetest thing ever. Um, and this was really, really filling, but it was really nice to have some like light, nutritious food after all of the ramen I've been eating. Then we went to the main attraction, Mila Mila or Mila Mila, I can't remember how you pronounce it. Rumors are that this is where Peter Andre filmed Mysterious Girl and this is where they filmed the Herbal Essences adverts. So we got to do loads of photos with hair flicks. We were here for like 45 minutes taking photos. And I did swim behind the waterfall, but I didn't take a video of that because the water, like the pressure of the water, I knew it was just gonna knock the phone right out of my hands, to be brutally honest. Then we got back on the bus and we saw a load of cows. It took us about 30 minutes to get out because of how many cows were walking around. Then we headed to this lake. I cannot remember the name of this lake for the life of me. I really shouldn't have filmed this voiceover so late after doing the trip, but Everyone else jumped in. I was not feeling very well, so I just watched everyone jump in. And apparently a crocodile lives in this lake, um, which is probably another reason that contributed towards me not really wanting to jump in. So I just wandered around and looked at the wildlife. Then we all were forced to run across this bridge at full speed, and I was terrified. I honestly thought it was gonna snap, but it didn't. And then finally, we made our way to our home for the night, the Eco Lodge. The women here were so lovely, the food was amazing, it was the cutest little place, they were so welcoming and hospitable, I had a lovely night's sleep and very, very full belly, very happy. Hi everyone, so it is day two of the Uncle Brian's tour. Today we're doing some rainforest walks and we're also swimming, I think. I think it's just swimming in rainforests, so. We were up bright and early this morning, back on the road, and our first stop was actually a surprise stop that we didn't know was happening and we got to go and feed some more wallabies. This was lovely because it was a really intimate experience and there weren't so many of us that there weren't enough wallabies to go around and we got lots of photos taken as well, which I really appreciated. And look at this guy, he's so cute. I'm honestly obsessed with them. Hi everyone, we're at our next stop. We're actually going on a crocodile cruise. So fingers crossed we see some crocodiles because I have not seen a croc 
outside the zoo. So I would appreciate it if it stayed at least five meters away from me. So we were worried about the crocodile tour because apparently there hadn't been many sightings that day, but we headed out anyway onto the river and we got so lucky. We saw three little baby crocodiles like this little guy here, but we also saw a three meter absolute bad boy of a crocodile. We got so lucky, it had literally just come out onto the bank. We saw it open its mouth and everything. It was, it was awesome, it was so, so cool. And um, this was really just amazing being able to see a crocodile that close up. Then we headed into the Daintree Rainforest, which is actually the oldest rainforest in the world. And we <laughs> went to a secluded little spot that only in the same And we were trying the rope swing. I absolutely failed miserably, so thankfully I didn't get that on record because I was awful. But it was really, really nice because we went for a walk around the rainforest and we learned all about the nature and the wildlife. That's what I really like about these tours. You're not just seeing, you're also learning. And then we headed to Port Douglas for a little ice cream stop on the way back to Cairns before our final bus journey and goodbyes with all of the new friends that we've made along the way. Then I met up with all of my adventure project lot for our final meal together before we all went home. I can't believe it. And the next morning, a few people had already got their flights, so I went in to go and get my nails done. Hello again, once again vlogging from the toilet because I can't vlog in public. I just went and got my nails done. You can't really see them, I'll overlay a clip anyway. And I fly at three o'clock, so I have another couple of hours. I've showered, I've checked out. I'm gonna go to the shopping centre and see if I can get a hoodie from Gander because I've been eyeing them up the whole trip. I couldn't carry it in my rucksack. And then I think I'm gonna grab some lunch and say goodbye to all the friends that I've made over the last six weeks before I fly back to Melbourne. I'm so excited to see Molly and Liv, but I can't believe how quickly it's gone. Like, it's honestly flown by and I've had the best time, so it's gonna be very sad. So I headed into the shopping centre near the hostel Grab myself some sushi. Oh my god, it's so, I'm actually, this is making me so hungry just looking at this. I really fancy some sushi right now. Oh, damn it. Said goodbye to Gilligan's and everyone came down to the lobby to say goodbye to me that was still there. Got very emotional. Just said goodbye to everyone and I'm a bit of an emotional mess. So I will update you when I am at the airport because I can't right now. It was so sad. <laughs> Hello, I've made it to Melbourne and I am absolutely buzzing off my tits right now because honestly, this flat is insane. Let me show you. I am going to rush out because I'm actually going to go and meet Molly and live for drinks because it's St. Patrick's Day and I really want to be out and see them. But I'm going to show you this because oh, it was a bit pricey, but it wasn't like super pricey. It was like the average price of like a Premier Inn at home, so like pricey compared to hostels. But after six weeks in hostels, I actually might cry that I have all this all to myself for four nights. In fact, it might be quite hard to go back to my flat in Brixton because this is, this is beautiful. So you come in and you have this living area. You've got table and chairs, a fully functioning kitchen with a washer and dryer. I'm so happy. Look. <sighs> then you come over here. Here's me. And this is the view. Obviously it's not very good on my camera, but it's of the Melbourne skyline. Come through here. Got a lovely bathroom. Look at that, a shower to myself. Complimentary toiletries. I could cry. Anyway, can you tell that I'm very happy right now? Lovely stuff. And then finally, the pierce de resistance. A bedroom. with a double bed and a view of Melbourne and a TV.
Oh, I'm so happy right now. I could actually burst. I'm gonna go and have a celebratory drink. Oh, life is great. <laughs> everyone so i am just back from st kilda we just went for a drink they've been there for a couple of hours already so i basically just went to say hi i grabbed some bread and some butter and some milk so i can have tea and toast in the morning i'm so excited to just have tea and toast in bed and just watch some tv it's gonna be amazing i just found out this flat has a balcony as well who would have thought um so i am really really happy right now can I just reiterate, the hostels that I've stayed in have actually been really great. I stayed in all female dorms the whole way up and personally, if you're a solo traveller and you're um, a woman, I would really recommend it. I've not had a single, I had like one person that kept waking me up one time in one hostel. But other than that, I honestly slept really, really well and all of the hostels I stayed in were really, really nice. I think it's just nice to have completely your own space after six weeks of constantly being in the company of others. So... Yeah, I'm a happy bunny right now. <laughs> Good morning everyone from a partly sunny Melbourne. Look at the view outside the window. Unreal. So I'm just making myself a cup of tea and some toast. So excited. I slept like a log. That was honestly unreal. Like fully starfish out on the bed. It was so comfy. Um, I got my new hoodie on which I got from Gander yesterday. I've been meaning to get one of these the whole trip But I didn't really have space to be trying to shove it in my rucksack Whereas if I wear it on the plane, then it's not as much of an issue, but it's really cute because it's got Like the wee little print on the back Anyway, I really really like it. Good afternoon everyone. So I'm sorry I've not vlogged this morning to be honest I woke up and I was supposed to be going to meet Liv and Molly at the beach, but I was just so tired. I woke up at eight and then I've just been lying in bed since then because I think my body just sort of went, whew, and I feel like, I feel really guilty for like sitting and doing nothing or like being on my phone. And then I realized this is the first time since I was like 11 that I've not had like a deadline or something to be doing. The next three days are gonna be quite full on before I go home. So it was quite nice to just have a nice chill day, making the most of the double bed. And honestly, the lighting in here is really doing me a lot of favors. I look so tanned in all the mirrors. So I've just been like walking around like, wow, this is so nice. Anyway, I'm gonna go to Woolworths. <laughs> Hello everyone, so I am ready to go out now. Outfit of the evening, it's honestly so nice to wear. Like I've only got concealer on because my foundation is too pale for my skin now. But it's so nice to wear like a nice little outfit, get a little bit of makeup on. So I'm wearing my Urban Outfitters top and then this skirt which is from, it was from ASOS I think, like Topshop I think. Anyway, we're off. I'm off to go and get roasted by Karen and her waitresses. And I'm actually kind of nervous. I don't know what this is gonna be like. <laughs> morning everybody welcome to a new day in Melbourne today it is quite gray it's quite a gray day today um, and it's quite cold and at the start of my trip I wasn't sure how long I was gonna be spending in Melbourne when I got back I'm now realizing that I have no clothes for this weather at all I'm gonna have to find something though because today me and Liv are doing a tour of Phillip Island we're going to wildlife sanctuary and we're going to Brighton Beach with go west I actually did one of Go West's tours as part of my, my adventure project trip and that was very kindly gifted but I loved it so much that me and Liv have booked this one today to go and see the penguins. Unfortunately, I cannot film the penguins because they get easily startled by cameras but I can film everything else so I think it should be a really, really lovely day. But I'm just watching all these runners go down the road right now. I think they've closed off the road for like a marathon or a half marathon or something. So I might just sit and watch them for a while because that's kind of fun. We were up bright and early and I was picked up at the Crown Promenade. We got on the bus and we headed down to Brighton, which is one of Melbourne's sort of fancier neighbourhoods, as you can probably tell by the houses. And we got to spend 15 minutes or so having a wonder and looking at all of the amazing artwork on the Brighton beach boxes. 
These sell for crazy amounts of money, which is insane when you think about it because it's literally just a box and it's not even got running water or anything. But you know, each to their own, they are really, really nice to look at and really, really nice to take photos of. So fair enough. Then we went to the Moonlit Sanctuary. Sorry, I didn't film much here because I was just loving seeing all the wildlife. We saw this really, really cute dingo. I have a toxic trait of thinking that wolves that look like dogs are safe like dogs and they're just not like but she was cute anyway and then we saw an owl as well reminded me of Hedwig and then we saw a koala walking I don't know why this really freaked me out in the best way but it was so cool to see a koala actually walking um rather than just on a tree then we headed back to the bus and we went to the main attraction of the day which was Phillip Island which I'm not gonna lie because it was quite overcast it was giving Yorkshire coastline vibes it was giving broad church it was giving BBC drama of some sort or ITV drama. Then we went to the Nobbies and we learned all about the penguins and what time they were going to come out. And before we knew it, we were sat on the beach ready to go. We also saw some kangaroos and some wallabies as well. Hello everyone. So Liv is with me enjoying her chips and we've made it to the penguin parade. We're not allowed to take any photos or videos on this section. So I won't be able to, what, to record all the penguins coming out the water but it's the only place apart from Tasmania in the world where they've got blue penguins. So I'm really excited to see them. And the seagulls are really eyeing up blue Um But yeah, we've got here an hour early so that we've got the best spot, like right prime location. So I'm very excited. is just coming up to midnight and I've just got back and had a ready meal because I didn't eat at the penguin parade because I wanted to get good seats and I just had a plant-based butter chicken ready meal from Woolworths and I very much enjoyed it anyway that was such a fun day honestly me and Liv went on the same bus to start with because we booked separately like we booked at the same time but we booked on different emails and there were four buses but they were so nice and they let Liv come on my bus because there was a spare seat and we just had the most lovely day seeing the penguins I know I didn't get many good like videos of it because you're not really supposed to film it on the beach and you can kind of take pictures but like not with flash if they're walking past you but oh my god they're so cute I actually shed a tear because I was like, you are just adorable. I'm going to head to bed because it is nearly midnight. And tomorrow is my last day where I can have a lion because I'm checking out the next day to fly home. How has that happened? But I've had the most lovely day. And I think me and Liv are going to have a girly, lazy shopping day tomorrow. As if I haven't spent enough money already. But you know what, at this point, I'm never going to check my bank balance. I've just gone, you know what, I've not done a trip like this before. I've saved up some money for it. I really just want to enjoy myself. So I'm going to head to bed and have a nice big lion. And then we're going to go and hit the outlets and see what we can find. I need some work clothes. But I don't think I'm going to find them in cotton oil or glassons. So I will probably be buying summer clothes that I won't be able to wear until July. Love it. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I have decided mine the dry shampoo in my hair that's making me look like I literally have grey roots I've just booked my hair appointment for when I go home because I feel like my roots are fine and they're fine and then fine and then suddenly they're just not um, and today has been that day I'm gonna end the Australia vlog here it's currently Monday I fly home tomorrow evening I'm not gonna lie I feel like the next couple of days I'm not really gonna do much I am going shopping with Liv today I'm going out for dinner with Molly and Tom and then tomorrow probably just going to poot around a couple of museums and I think just it's a long journey and it's I've had a bit of stress with the airline so I feel like I kind of just want to chill out the next couple of days so I think now is a good time to end the vlog I really really hope you have enjoyed these Australia vlogs as much as I've enjoyed filming them um I can't believe that you're watching the last one now I suppose this is probably six weeks ahead of where I am right now but if anything has shown how quickly six weeks can go it has been this trip thank you so much to my adventure project for gifting me the 42 day east coast tour I would 100% recommend it I'm definitely going to talk about it more in probably in a previous video that I've done like an update video when I get home but you can probably see from this trip how much I've loved it so I will leave all of their details down below if you are interested in checking them out and yeah that's about it I suppose I'll see you back in England with another video. Bye guys. Mwah.